Yo, can you give me the uh, story about Drive Slow? Man, Drive Slow. That's one of my favorite yeah. Kanye songs ever. Late Registration is my favorite album. Yeah, wow. man. That's a fire. Plain Pat. Um, shout out to Plain Pat. Plain Pat, what up? That's what his drop. Up? Yeah, yeah. He uh he he hit me up um was like hey I know you uh you, you met Kanye you said y'all were cool I had I had met him at a uh, at an interview we were all doing like a big interview one time and I, I talked to him about making him some grills and then from there that's what kind of led to you know playing past saying hey I, I know you met Kanye you know why don't, why don't we try to do a song together of course I'm like yeah of course yeah. shit and he said hey I asked Kanye he said he down with it. But you know he he might not use your verse. You know he might not use the song at all. He might take you off Donda. You know what I'm saying? That's that's basically what he was telling me. Yeah. Shit, you might get on there. He might not like it. So if you do, don't be mad. But it's an opportunity, and I'm like, shit, you ain't gotta tell me. I know what opportunity. Even back then, before he was just Kanye the producer. Right. You know, people didn't really respect his bars, but at that time, I did. I loved his bars. I didn't like his beats. I thought his bars was way doper than his beats at the time because that particular style when he was sampling a lot of the mm -hmm. soul samples yeah. I wasn't into because right. a lot of them soul samples didn't have the beat, the bass right, 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 or, right. or they would have it but it would come in and out so that they could highlight the samples you right. know it's, it just is what it is I have my particular style I like but his bars I love and I, I hear him talking about that how people didn't want him to rap they only wanted him to make beats and I'm like what are y'all crazy this man was spitting but you know, when I had, I, I, even from then, I knew the opportunity was there. Amazing opportunity uh, to get on a song with Kanye West, and I didn't think he was going to use it. I uh, went in there. Actually, the verse I I did for actually was the original verse I had wrote for "Sitting Sideways." When I did "Sitting Sideways" at first, it was the first time I had ever did a song with Big Pokey, and Lil Kiki was on it too. And it was the first time I had ever did a song with Lil Kiki. But the record label Atlantic said. Hey, Big Pokey is not signed to anybody. He's an independent artist. Lil Kiki's not signed to anybody. He's an independent artist. You being me, Paul Wall, the artist who signed to Atlantic. Paul Wall, the artist we trying to push. Paul Wall albums, the ones we trying to sell. I know these your homeboys, but you can't put them both on there. You can put one of them on there. And I'm trying to explain, like, man, look, they not just my homeboys. These are legends. You know, the originators of the sound. Right. You know, they are, these are the originators of the Houston culture. Right. Like it's bigger than just somebody I like and listen to, but they didn't really see it or get it. And I don't know, maybe they were right. They uh, you know, we ended up having to take somebody out. We took a little Kiki off. Big Pokey was on the sample, so I felt like, well, if, if he he was on the hook, so I felt like, well, if we're gonna sample him for the hook, we should give him a verse on there as well. You know, and at the end of the day, even though it was my song, I felt like it's really big pokey song because it's his, his his sample, sample. for the hook, you yeah. know, uh, but I, I originally had a, a verse that I wrote because this is how I used to write. I used to get like brain fog. So if I'm anywhere and I hear music going, I can't think because the music is just it's just distracting me or, you know, I'm talking to you. Or I'm looking at the plaques on the wall instead of right. focusing on my verse. So I would get a beat, get the tempo, maybe come up with an opening bar and then go into the bathroom where it's quiet, go into my car outside where it's completely si silent and just write in silence. So all I can focus on is just my verse. So sometimes I do that, come back and lay it, and the tempo will be a little off because mm -hmm. I'm right, doing in it your to car. my head, yeah, Bob, yeah, yeah, yeah. not to the beat. Yeah, yeah, I go back in there and it's a little off. So that's kind of how it was. I, I went in there, I spit the verse, my original verse, which ended up being the drive slow verse. And my boy T. Ferris was like, it was me, Lil Kiki, and Big Pokey. That's why at the very beginning of the song, I say, it's, it's Big Pokey, Lil Kiki, and Power Wild Baby. But they had to mute out the Lil Kiki, so it's Big Pokey, and Power Wild Baby. It's, you <laughs> see, when you hear it, you be like, okay, That's damn, crazy. they did mute it out. But anyway, T. Ferris say, look, man, the verse hard. Nah, I ain't saying it's whack, but it don't go with the beat. It just don't flow with the beat. I, re I really think you should write a new verse because you already got to write a new one anyway right. to, to replace Lil Kiki's verse. So I really think you should write two new verses that go to this song. Just try it. And I was like, man, you crazy. This verse hard. You crazy. T. Ferris was like my coach. He was like the main person that believed in me. He saw the vision for it when I couldn't see it. When I thought I was over and done. You know, in, in yeah. 2002, when I thought I was over and done, that was the end of my... That's what everybody in Houston was telling me, too, by the way. I wasn't shit without coming in there. t Fair come and say, man, look, I believe in your best days in front of you, not behind you. Man, I don't think... You you uh, better with Camille. Of course, y'all dope together, but I think you dope being yourself. He really kind of gave me that encouragement and believed in me when I didn't. When I thought it was over, so okay, mm -hmm. he's telling me, man, okay, this 
this verse hard, but redo it. I'm like, man, you crazy. And then it kind of snapped in my mind. I could see the disappointment in his face. And he's like, all right, <laughs> if you don't, if you don't want you don't even want to try it, it's cool. You the artist, it's your word. Whatever you say, I, I'm gonna go with it. But I just think you should try it. It's cool. And I said, man, you know what? I'm letting my co- I let my coach down, man. Yeah. If Phil Jackson call up a play. I'm not gonna be Scotty Pippen on the bench. Nah, I ain't going in the game. Right. You ain't giving me the ball, I ain't going to get nah, man. I'm if my coach calling to play, he knows something or he sees something or he's planning something that I don't comprehend yet. Don't matter. I'm not the coach. He's the coach. Mm-hmm. I gotta let him do his job of coach. And at the very least, I could try it. And if it's whack, we ain't gotta use it. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try it. The two new verses, boom, they're sitting sideways. But I had that original verse in my pocket, like, okay, I'm I know I'm saying some shit on here. I'm going to save this for if, you know, Jay-Z want me on the verse. Or, right. you know what I'm saying? Or somebody want me on something and I've been out all night and I ain't got time and we in the studio. Like, man, and it's a big major opportunity. Okay, I'm going to use it for that. So when Plain Pat hit me and said, I got something, I think. And I, I said, man. First thing I thought was, man, where that verse at? I used to <laughs> when found it, because I used to write them on paper. Yeah. Found, and I used to save them because we'll write out, we'll write our verses. <clears throat> and sometimes you know the hard drive will crash or something. So if you don't have it saved somewhere, oh well, it's over. Rest in peace to your verse. Yep. Yeah. Right. So I learned a lesson, man. I got to save a, the written verses. So somewhere I got the actual written verse somewhere. Uh, you know, that's an NFT. Yeah, man. That's I need an NFT. NFT. That's an oh, NFT. Yeah. It's coming, man. That's it's coming NFT. for sure. Oh, yeah. Well, when and it, it it worked, it uh, I laid it playing past. Say, man, look, I did it in my studio. Sent it to him playing past. Say, look, Kanye like it, but he wants you to come out here. To L.A. and lay it. Because he got a few things he wants you to do. Maybe something for the hook. Maybe this. He's got a lot of ideas. Man, bet. But at the, ho- the whole time, I'm thinking, at the end of the day, my verse is not going to be on there. Something is going to happen to prevent my verse from being either he not going to like it, I'm going to be whack or it don't match <laughs> or something. Somebody at the label not going right. to like it. Somebody, you know, something. I just had it I'm sitting in my mind. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Ain't no way this verse going on now, man. They taking me off of Donda, man. I knew that, man. <laughs> but <laughs> even when we landed out there, man, I remember we landed in L.A. We were coming down the escalator at LAX, going to the baggage claim. And as soon as we get to the bottom of the escalator, two detectives, one coming to my boy Goo, one coming to me. I say, yeah, man, they started talking to us. I'm like, man, we getting punked because Mike Jones had just got punked. So when you get punked, <laughs> you punk somebody else. So I was like, man, they coming. They trying to they try to punk. I think Travis Barker got punked, too. So I'm like, man. I got it from multiple angles. I'm like, man, I, I hope I'm, they about to try to punk me. Man, nah, I ain't from punk me. So I was ready, man. I come down there, detectives, you know, they, hey, where y'all coming from this and that? I'm talking crazy to them because I'm thinking they actors, you know. You're like, I'm about to Bruh, get. I don't talk crazy to police because I know what they capable of. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And it's the L.A. Sheriff's Department, right. whatever that, man, come on, man. I, they easily could have, hey, come with us. And then, shit, it would have been a long night for me. But and I looked at my boy Goo, and he's just looking at me like crazy. Like, man, what you doing? Man, you talking crazy. I'm just talking disrespectful, you know, just going off on him. And then the officer that was on me, the other, he was getting upset. And the other officer was like, what was going on? Man, come on, let's just go. And then they just went to somebody else. They just wanted to check out bags. I don't know. I'm just like, what y'all, man, I'm, I ain't got shit going on. Right. Y'all, you know, shit. Got to get to a Kanye session. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, I knew he was getting punked. Ain't no Kanye session. You know, whatever. And then they leave. And I'm like, wait, where Aston Kutcher at? We ain't getting punked. <laughs> and Goo like, nah, dummy. We ain't getting punked with you. He's about to get us arrested. Yeah, Aston and and Kutcher really have people out here fucking almost getting <laughs> fucked up in these streets. Hey, that, <laughs> hey, that ain't it. Then we went to the hotel. Okay, I, I dropped Goo off. Goo stayed at the hotel, and I went to the studio session. I'm in a car service going to the studio session. We pull up to the ho- to the studio. The, car, the driver don't exactly know where the studio's at because it's not you know a big giant sign outside to say studio here. Right. So he pulls up. We're in the left hand lane, the far left hand lane. The studio is on the right. We're at a stoplight. It's red. He say, I don't know. Oh, there it is, right there. And he just break everybody off. It's a red light. He just turned. He went in the far left hand lane. He turned right over three or four lanes of traffic and turned right onto the street. It just so happened it was a cop right there that he couldn't see. It was getting blocked. So whoop, whoop, we get pulled over. I'm like, fuck. They couldn't get me in part one at the airport. So now they punking me. I'm like, I knew it was too good to be true doing song with Kanye. <laughs> man, you know, he getting, it, he getting a ticket, all this kind of stuff. I'm asking the cop, man, can I, can I leave? Can I go? And he's like, yeah, I ain't giving you no ticket. I'm like, shit, I'm out. I go do my verse. I'm like, shit, where ass the kitchen? Shit, it ain't so even. <laughs> Even up until it came out, it wasn't until DJ Drama called me and he said, hey, you want Kanye album? 
I was like, I don't know. It ain't come out yet. They might have took me off Donda. Right. So, <laughs> so shit, he's like, now you on here. We, I'm at the listening party now. It come out tomorrow or next week, whenever. He's like, nah, it's on here. You on here. I'm like, damn, no shit. Like, I, man. And it's fire. Sh- man, shout out to Plain Pat. How, how much of the song was, like, did they just send you the beat or was the song pretty much done? When he sent, when I first originally did it, it was just the beat. It was no hook, no nothing. It was just the beat, and he was like, he, it was a concept. The concept is just drive slow. But I didn't know like where he went with his verse. It was like you know, be caution. You know, be cautious when you're living your life. Don't live a fast life. Drive slow in your life. You know, it was more, you know, conceptually like a different type of where I went slab with it. You know what I'm saying? Where I was talking about really driving slow in a car. It was a little bit, a little bit different. And GLC came at the end. Uh, you shout know, GLC, killed it man. too. Yeah, shout out GLC, man. The whole the whole thing put together, man, was it was uh, definitely you know when I heard it when it was finished, you know, what I'm saying it was definitely definitely very different than when I first laid my verse to it. But you know, that's that just goes to the vision of Kanye, man. When he got a vision for something, man, and he put it together, man. He, He's a genius. That's a big deal, man. It's a big deal. Hey, so that's why I still ain't. Hey, I know just hey, he can re-release that bitch right now without my verse. And what am I gonna shit? Hey, they ain't taking me off down the Wasn't there two versions of that record? There was yeah. like a live version, right? That- well, it was that version, and then there was a uh, another version with Ti. With Ti, like it was like a kind of like a remix. It was the same thing. It was the same song. Yeah, it just was with Ti's verse added, and then Ti put it on his album. So that was shit. Even then, when we did the song, we did it on Kanye's album. But Craig Calvin, who was CEO or I don't know what his title, president, some whatever I think he's he was, still there now at Atlantic. Yeah, he was like, "Hey, Paul, what you think? Well, why, oh, why don't we put that on your album too?" And people don't do that, and you know, we do that on the underground, of course. But when it's a Kanye West song, man, ain't no way Kanye letting you put his song on your album. So I'm like, man, Good is, luck he with gonna, that. is he going to yeah. do that? But or the label. Yes, man, the label. Or ain't no way the label going to clear. Right. But Jay-Z was the president of Def Jam. He let it go. Shout, shout out to Hove. Shout out to Hove. And then I seen Hove at the MTV Awards, and he said, hey, you know you owe me, right? I'm like, shit, <laughs> hey, what you, what I owe you? I, man, what's you up, want a man? verse? I got you. You need a grill? What you need? You need a verse, too? What's up, man? Shit. I owe you for life. What you mean? Shit. That shit is, that oh, shit is legit, God. man. Yeah, man. That's so crazy. So that was originally going to be on the original Sitting Sideways? That verse, yeah. The verse wow. was my, because the original Sitting Sideways, I only had one verse, and that was, that was it. So when you, when you go back to I don't know maybe we need to do you need to do a blend of that verse with the sin sideways beat to see how it would sound. Shout out to T Ferris who's doing his thing right now with Megan. Yeah man, shout out to T Ferris who saw the vision. Who's because Houston he, legend man for real. If he if he wouldn't have told me, hey man, do something else, then you know the dominoes wouldn't have fell the way they did. Big shout out T Ferris. 